Welcome to Dogface Electronics. Today we're going to do a review of the Engineer SS-02 solder sucker. Picked this up on Amazon a while back. I've been using it a bit so that I can give it a review as to how well it actually works. Um, it looks awesome and that's probably the biggest reason I bought it. I'm a firm believer in buying good tools, crying once when you buy it and not every time you use it. So I had this solder sucker here. It sucked tons of solder. I paid maybe five dollars. Honestly, I don't know. I've had it for next to forever. But it was cracking. There's scoring on the suction. Um, it's just dead. Time for a replacement. So I thought rather than buy another five dollar one, let's just buy a really nice one and then never have to buy it again. So um, comes in this packaging. It's got some uh, instructions in case you don't know how to use a solder sucker. Solid aluminum. Uh, it comes here with a bit of extra silicon tubing. Silicon tubing goes here on the end, which enables you to take your piece that is when you're sucking solder to remove it. You can actually get right down on top of it. It's a little soft silicon tube. You can really suck it out. I'll show you that later. So the solder sucker itself, really nice. Uh, when you pop it, you know, it's got really good suction. Um, I can actually feel it a little bit on my thumb as I cycle it. The tubing here on the end is replaceable, as I mentioned. Um, this piece here hard to get a hold of, but uh, you can take a little piece of rubber or something if you can't get it open. So the solder tip itself is solid aluminum. It's just one piece. It's got a nice rubber o-ring here. Um, really nice. And then we've got the spring and the solder clearing part. This piece here, they recommend you not take it off, but I'll do it for you guys. And you'll see why they recommend not taking it off. This is all solid aluminum as well. And as you pull it through, you end up pulling this rubber O-ring over the threads that are right here. So that's why they recommend that you not take it off. But everything's got O-rings or seals, just really a nice piece of equipment. That's the review part of it. I'll cut to the chase as far as the actual use of it. I don't like it. The problem it has is it sucks really well, but as soon as the solder hits this aluminum, it solidifies instantly. And it solidifies inside this little channel. And the channel, I don't know if we can capture this on video, but the channel right there. It's not very big, uh, so it, it solidifies, and then you can't use it until you get that solder out of there, and it can be quite, uh, quite a pain. So, bottom line, beautiful, well made, doesn't work very well. So, uh, I'll cut to another shot here, and I'll show you how, how it works, and you'll see how it it's uh, jammed up from time to time as well. This is my test board, just typical through hole kind of stuff that you're going to want to desolder with the solder pump. I'm going to pick on this uh, piece right here. Heavy duty, lots of solder on there. Get an idea of what it looks like, and if we have time, we might pick on one of these smaller pins. Have my Heiko soldering iron set to 350 degrees Celsius, which they say is the maximum for the little piece of silicon. So let's just go ahead and get the heat into there. It's a big chunk of solder to suck, so take a bit 
All right, so now we've got that all fluid. So we push this over the top and did pretty good. Oh, there we go. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. Just one suck and it's jammed. So, yeah, this is, you can even see me off camera, but yeah. So, take the little tip off here, see if we can get the lead out. Yep, that's okay. There we go. I think that pretty much shows it all. Uh, if you look here, it got it did an okay job. I mean, this is a ginormous piece of uh, of solder that needs to be done. What I'll do now is we'll pick on one of these over here. Let me reset and get this solder cleared out of here, and then we'll suck these littler ones so you can see how it works on those as well. So hang tight a sec. That was some fun, let me just tell you. You'll probably see some of that in an outtake video. Anyway, we're back. We're gonna do these little ones uh, right here so you can see how it works. Heiko soldering iron set to 350 degrees centigrade. Put the heat on it. Get that in there. That's okay. Try again. Better. Right. That looks pretty good. Clear the smooth out of the end here. I don't know if we can get this. There we go. Probably not going to focus, but you can see the solder cools right there in the tip of it. We'll do one more and call it good. Push down pretty hard on the tip. Not bad. Probably could use another one. My experience has been that you can do quite a few of these. Eventually you'll have the same thing that happened in the first shot. There we go. That looks pretty good. And still a little bit, but it's done the majority of it. Probably take the solder wick and clear the rest of it. So, bottom line, I don't recommend it. It is a nice tool well made but it doesn't work very well I'm a firm believer in buying quality tools that last a long time this five dollar one wasn't worn out I'd be using it so I probably will pick up a five dollar eBay or Amazon sucker to replace this I, don't know, I think I paid twenty dollars twenty five dollars I don't recall a lot more money let's just say that so thank you very much if you like this please subscribe please like and I will see all folks later bye bye